Oh, shit, we have a go around. Look at that. I think that's Delta 201 out of uh, Johannesburg. Hello and welcome to Sunday, the 16th of January. Early morning here because we have a very exciting day in store. The potential for snow. Look at all that takeoff spray. With any luck, we'll see snow blow at some point today. Flight radar 24 to real life reconciliation. It appears the A350 Delta 201 Heavy from Johannesburg has decided not to even try it again. And it's headed to Birmingham. Wow. Gave up on it from the get-go. Oh yeah, let's get some takeoff spray. There we go. Oh yeah. Off to God knows where. I believe this is domestic. But I might be wrong. Sorry for the shakies. I'm trying to get myself positioned behind one of these concrete pillars so it's important to wind splatter. Radar to real life reconciliation reveals rain, but a wintry mix. Oh, the snow is almost here. Look at that. See it getting closer and closer? Right now. Real life looks a little something like this, but it looks like snow might be coming. Weather Channel hourly outlook shows rain until 10, and then at 11, the snow is supposed to begin, even though the temps don't appear to be getting out of the mid-30s. You're still expecting maybe an inch of accumulation. Breaking news, I now have snow and rain falling. Snow and rain. Can you see it? Oh my god, yes. There is definitely snow mixed in now. We got snow, yes! Snow and sleet. Oh my god. Oh god, that stings my face. Oh, Boise. That just switched from rain to snow. Oh my god, in sleet, it hurts. It stings the face. In other news, Mr. Time Lapse is taking a beating here, hopefully capturing some wonderful time lapses of this snow here. Of course, it is getting wet. That's the penalty for being designated a time lapse. Ooh, man, now those, those flakes are getting fat. Instead of plane spotting, we are now snowflake spotting, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. Look at that snowfall, you guys. We haven't seen good snow in four years. And now, an A330, bound for one of many places, I don't know which, is taxing out after we resume it de-iced. I don't see any de ice Hey guys, snow is no match for the safety. Oh, there's the icing. I see on the uh, leading edges, it's a little bit green. Damn it, of course. Now it doesn't want to show its leading edges to me. Pick up some takeoff spray or perhaps a little snow. But see, with the brakes on, now releasing the brakes and going for the throttle. Yes. Oh, yeah. Montego Bay, Jamaica! Jamaica! Hey, Mom! What is this frozen stuff falling out of the sky? Another A330, look at the green wings. The icing has occurred. And has it occurred on the 737? Yes, it has. Going full length, both of them. Let's get some takeoff spray from the full length position. This should be significant. Oh yeah, gonna hold the brake. Release. Yeah, yeah! Oh my god, yes. A330 
200 go to where I don't know. There, magma. Magma or air Icelandic or call sign Atlanta is going to run afoul of another A330 that has just undergone the de-icing. Unfortunately, a runway 10 arrival doesn't leave us with a whole lot of pleasure, but seeing as how it's a wide body, it's a 747 and it's a big top, we're going to score it anyway. It is really snowing out there. Meanwhile, a 757-200 to Orenstead. What the hell is that? Is that Aruba? AUA? Well, let's presume it's headed there. Evidence of DIC. Neon green. Okay, here we go. Watch this. It's just going to throttle up and sit there with its brake on for a second. Here we go. And now, full blown thrust or takeoff spray. Yes. Off to warmer climates where de-icing won't be necessary. Good luck making it back into Atlanta. It's only supposed to get worse. Now it's snowing even harder. Oh my god, it's so majestic. So majestic. We just needed to start sticking, which it has yet to do. Everyone is stuck trying to relearn the de-icing process. And that is why traffic is crippled to one every 15 minutes. Giraffe, giraffe departing in the snow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, fantastic. I'm too busy to figure out where this is going. Rest assured, it's going where giraffes go. We're going to run smack dab into a 767-300 and then this pillar. But if we wait and be patient, we can catch the giraffe on the other side. Don't mind the igloo. Now, get on up, get on up, get on up and get down before I lose you. Oh, it's gone. The snow has reached new peaks here at Hartsfield Jackson, Andre Dinkins, Atlanta International Airport with another 752. Departing for God knows where. This is the most intense snowfall we've seen yet today. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. Maybe it'll start sticking now. Snowflake splatter is in effect. I apologize. Ooh, that was one hell of a groan. Delta 474 off to Honolulu. Still has the parking brake set. Now, yes. out into the snowflake splatter zone, so bear with me. Man, look at that takeoff spray. Perhaps a little bit of snow blow, but I really think that's more water than anything. Anybody have the RNF to pick it? Pick it? Is it pick your nose? <laughs> and there it goes off to you, I made a flagship, flagship, flagship on a Sunday, 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 damn. Still using runway 10 for arrivals, which is very, very disappointing. I can't even see runway 10, no I can't even see past that pillar, we gotta move. I doubt we're gonna see it rotate, but we're gonna try it everything in our power, including leaning out here into the snowflake splatter zone. And there we go. Shifting gears for a moment, I've always loved observing de-icing, and this is one of the de-icing pads here. This one is for Southwest and pretty much any non-hometown airline, as well as Reginald's. So Reginald waiting for the treatment, or maybe having just for see. Oh yes, that Reginald is green. It's already received the treatment. If we walk up, we can see a little bit more of it, but then of course we have obstructions like this pillar. Hey, look, another Southwest Airlines 737 wants to get the ice. Look at that, he's thirsty. Thirsty for some warm, juicy de-icing fluid. Ops is keeping a close eye on all of this. Okay. 
look at that. Pulling into position, this truck will be responsible for the, <laughs> the hosing down, if you will. And now all the crew and passengers have to do is wait. What is this guy doing? That engine is still running. What are you up to there, fella? You gonna hook up? Oh yeah, I'm gonna hook up and talk to the men up front, or men and women. Meanwhile, the cherry picker is getting set to spray all over Southwest Face. All right, let's get this party started. The cherry picker is ready. Go ahead. All, oh, yeah! Oh, my God. It's always so majestic to see such things at my field because they rarely, if ever, occur. Now in the face. Hit him in the face. Please, dear God. Oh, he's got his hose ready and spray. Yeah! Woohoo! That is so exciting! Oh my god, he's making that orange. Looks like he's got some orange de-icing fluid today. Lo and behold, we have a pattern change. Holy crap. American to Miami with a 737-800 standard is the first to depart using West Stops. And now emerging out of the snow, Air Frost 682 Heavy, your first non-hometown airline wide body. My God, I can't believe it's taken this long. Landing amongst the snow showers. Snow is beginning to stick a little bit past that obstruction. You can tell Air Frost 682 is crabbing. It comes in A350-900 XWB form today. And let's hope we don't sneak a slam it. I tried to move far enough away. Oh yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Air France. Thank you very much. Instead of 200, indeed it is. Snowing very hard, as you can tell. Hopefully it will begin to stick. We need it to stick. Ooh, set her down, Spaz. There you go. And take a look at our magical TSC ramp amongst the snow. Look at that. Isn't it great? Ah, everything is different. Up here on the fifth floor of the International Park Red Deck, it actually is a little bit slippery. We're starting to get some slush. Oh, shit. It's Star Alliance. Coming in on 2-6 right, oh my god. Trying to muck things up even further here at the Sky Team Field, Star Alliance, brought to you by United or United Continental. Hey, look, it's Maple, the beautiful, handsome Justin Trudeau. Ooh, that's some snow blow. Given our current weather, it's only appropriate that we get maple because they are accustomed to weather like this. Whereas we here in the southeast freak out and we really don't know how to deal with it. Maple is professional. Maple knows exactly how to deal with it and will gladly show us. Ooh, brilliant. We're 35. That's a hell of a biz jet. Looks like a cargo... A cargo variant. It's got the wing tanks. It's out of Columbia, South Carolina, where I believe the weather is icy. Damn, sorry for the shakies. That was really hard to keep up with. My God, look at how the snow is coming down. Jeez. Please stick this time. I need it to stick. Hey, Delta 31 Heavy, a 764. We haven't gotten a 767-400 at all today. Only A330s. Ooh, we got some snow vape coming off of this. And it's in from London Heathrow. I'm tripodless. I'm a human tripod. I'm trying to keep it stable. Past an A320. And our Reginald, he's in timeout, I believe. Yep, timeout. What in the hell is this a UFO? It's a UFO. Oh my god. On a day that is already complicated enough with snow and sleet and freezing rain, now we have a UFO. 
on the approach end of runway 27 right. Headlines are 7 heavy on it, football runway 27 right, surf take off. And maybe we're on the wrong frequency, so we can't hear the readback, but magma, liquid, hot magma, the one we saw arrive from afar, we will now see depart from close by. Oh my god, this should be magnificent takeoff spray. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Come on, give me the full throw. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Outrageously good takeoff spray for liquid hot magma. My god, look at it go. Now unfortunately we're not going to get the full full roll and rotation on this because we're operating from the media only parking. We'll ram it right into KLM624 heavy and wash our hands of the whole affair. Delta 774 Heavy is an A33200, yet another one of the A330s we have captured on this snowy day. Look at that takeoff spray still coming down, but not really sticking. Go up north by about 10 miles, it's a different story. Off to JFK, an A33200, very great. We're losing behind a KLM. Hey, Bipolar Giant off to Miami, the most rapidly rotating 767 in history. Let's see how long it takes. Can it rotate while it's still within my line of sight? I bet it can. Look how fast it's going already. Yes! Oh, man. Hey, look, Air for All 681 is ready. Holy and now KLM backing out in order to get in line for the de-icing process we're gonna get a start up here at some point are we not maybe we'll just get a 757 with takeoffs there we go the winter weather event is coming to a close, but there's always de-icing to cheer you up. Provided, of course, you're not a passenger or crew member of a flight that has to undergo the de-icing, because it seems like it's very time-consuming. Oh, there's my smoky startup. Did you see a little bit of smoke? Now we're cranking number two. Our last stop today is the runway 28 position. Since they refuse to use any other runway on the south side, we get runway 28. A330, yet again. The last catch of the day coming in on runway 28. I bet you'll never guess what type of aircraft it is. It's been the ongoing theme for the day. We're beginning to get snow again. There we go. Look, you can see it's an A330. Wow. It's got a pair of halogen landing lights, and then its nose gear light is a non-halogen. Illuminating the, the snow and wintry precipitation, as you can see. Oop, nope, we don't need that glare. And what a fun day to remember. A330, A330, let's pick it up and take it with us. Oops, stepping in the amp bed. Alright, well, I screwed up the last clip. Juliet, Delta 609. Over Delta 2958, we're ready to go. Delta 2958. 
Tower. Delta 694, Arnett, it's not here unless you take left, clear for takeoff. Arnett, it's not the EC6 left, clear for takeoff, Delta 694. Tower Delta 979, we're Alpha 5, short of Alpha, information, get back, ready to take. Delta 979, turn left onto Alpha, hold short of runway 26 right at Delta. Alpha, hold short 26 right on Delta. Delta, Delta 979. Delta 2191 at Hotel. Golf current for the Rabbit Tango for departures one two one zero at one one gust one six altimeter is uh, two hundred five four. Delta twenty three sixty one runway two six left line up and wait. Line up and wait. Delta twenty three sixty one. The wind is two two zero one three. Are now to impasse runway two six left. Clear for takeoff. Are now to impasse two six left. Clear for takeoff. Delta twenty three sixty one. Delta three forty eight tower runway two six left line up and wait. There'll be traffic downfield. Line for way two six left. Delta three forty eight. For takeoff two six left. Delta twelve twenty six. Delta fourteen sixty six tower. Go ahead for fourteen sixty six. 1466, make the slight right turn and continue on Foxtrot and then hold sort of runway 26 left at Delta, please. Okay, right on Foxtrot, turn 26 left at Delta, Delta 1466. 5278 tower. Yeah, back to the ramp, however, we go. 710, holding short, give me Charlie. Yes, sir, you'll be next for departure. Thank you. Delta 2955, Arnold, it's long, runway 27 right, so take off. 2955. Headline to 387 heavy, Lima Charlie, runway 27 right, line up and wait. I have a wait, I wait. And then 5385, cross 27 right, going back at a ground point 75. Alright, Dad, number 2409, cross from way 26 right, taxi from way 26 left. Left, Delta 2409. Delta 325, cross from way 26 right, and taxi Alpha to Alpha 3. Cross 26 uh, right, and uh, Alpha Alpha 3, Delta 325. Delta 7495, hold short from way 26 left, Bravo 6. Hold short 26 left, Bravo 6, Jet 7495.